let us revise right hand thumb rule which tells that if this curl is showing the direction of current in a coil then this thumb will give the direction of magnetic field. Fleming right hand rule tells that if the index finger of right hand is in the, is in the direction of magnetic field and the thumb points in the direction of motion of conductor then the induced current will be flowing in the direction of middle finger if these three are mutually perpendicular. And we remember Lorentz force on a moving charge. Let us study motional electromotive force. That is known as motional EMF. Motional EMF, its value is E is equal to BVL, where L is the length of a rod and B is the magnetic field through which it is passing with a speed V. A rod of length L is passing perpendicular to, moving perpendicular to a magnetic field with a velocity v then the across the ends of this conductor emf is developed open potential difference is created that emf is bvl let us see how it is happening consider a conducting frame let us name it ms rn and there is a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to this frame and that is inward shown by these cross points everywhere uniform magnetic field is present and the resistance of this frame is zero and over it there is a conductor Suppose this is the conductor and we name it PQ. The conductor is PQ and let uh, it is moving in this direction with a velocity V. Then if the length of conductor is, if the length of conductor is L, and uh, this is the origin 0 and this distance is x then the flux uh, initial flux is equal to magnetic field b dot area so area of this loop uh, ps r q will be lx and after some time delta t let it is here this uh, PQ rod moves up to here. Then the closed loop PSRQ will have a smaller area. And so the new flux through the closed loop will be B L X minus delta X. Where delta X is this shift delta X. So the change in the magnetic flux is equal to minus B L into delta X and so by the in Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction there will be a induced EMF along with Lange's rule minus minus d phi by dt rate of change of magnetic flux and that will give plus B L and dx by dt and that that is speed of that conductor so this is the induced emf its polarity if we discuss we apply the right hand uh, curl rule then here the cross flux is decreasing due to this motion 
the cross flux is decreasing means the cross flux that is inward flux should increase by the induced current and so the thumb is uh, inward and curl will say that there will be a current in clockwise direction so the current resulting will be p2q there will be a current in the pq in downward direction that will make the q positive the q end will become positive now, the direction of current we can find by the fleming right hand rule that uh, if the index finger is inward and uh, the thumb is in this direction that will tell that induced current will be downward direction let us see the same uh, derivation with another method suppose this is the pq rod which is having a length l and there is a uniform magnetic field here present everywhere and it is moving in that that rod is moving is in this direction with velocity v and then due to this uh, there are so many charges in this rod suppose every charge is q a charge q is here then we apply fleming left hand rule the motion of charge is represented by the middle finger left side and index finger downward then the thumb will give that the charge will shift to downward direction making q positive and p negative and that will give a potential difference open potential difference emf and that emf is equal to work done per unit charge now work done is equal to force on the charge into displacement suppose this displacement is the length l fl by q force on the charge we know by the lorentz rule that is q v b perpendicular then q will cancel and we find the induce the emf the between the pq will be bbl so this is the second way to visualize how this open potential difference is created across the pq thank you